Happy Friday. Welcome back to Chats with Chase, and here's today's tip. You can see I've added that acorn part to this assembly, created a cap for it, and added some appearances to make it at least look a little more like a real acorn. The finishing touch for this will be to add some text around the brim using the wrap tool. To do that, we're just going to open up the part file from this right click menu. And next, I'll create a sketch on a plane that's oriented how I want the words to appear. I'll use an offset entities like from the last video to give us a baseline for the text. I want this to be a construction line, so I'll use the pop-up menu to do that. Now that we have a line to draw on, we can use the text tool a little easier. I select that and then select the line that I want it to follow. Again, you can use a curve or really any shape to define this path. It just happens to be a straight line in this case. In this box, I'll type whatever I want to appear. We can fix size or orientation once we type it all out, so there's no need to worry about that now. The orientation looks alright, the text is too large. It uses the document font by default, so we'll need to uncheck this before we can make changes. Let's go ahead and change that to an 8 point font. The text looks good, so let's accept it. I don't quite like that vertical distance, but I can change that pretty quickly with this dimension. That's all what I want, so now we can exit the sketch and go to the Features tab, where we'll find the Wrap tool. In this case, I want to emboss these words on the part, so I'll keep that Emboss Wrap type. For the method, there are two options of Analytical and Spline Surface. I'll select the face that this wrap will apply to so that it'll show a preview. Analytical sort of creates a planar face from what you select by unwrapping it, as shown by this yellow outline, and projects your sketch onto that. Spline surface will do more of what you would imagine and wraps the actual sketch onto the face. This can be better for situations where the geometry of the face is irregular and less analytical. However, a drawback of this is that it can't be used to wrap completely around a part 360 degrees. Because these calculate differently, they look different in the end. I prefer analytical for this, so I'll choose that. I'll choose the distance to emboss. I could select a pull direction from here, but if I leave it blank, it will pull perpendicular to the sketch plane, which is what I want anyway. It takes a short moment to solve, but now I have embossed letters. I'll quickly throw an appearance on this, save, and jump back to the finished assembly so we can see the finished product. Thanks for watching. Contact me with any questions and have a great weekend.